Ezekiel chapter 36 is a prophecy about the restoration of Israel. And in a book that has so many prophecies about judgment, well, I feel very fortunate. And there are two things that I would call your attention to as you read this chapter today. First, notice how the Lord ties the land of Israel to the nation of Israel. This gives us a unique perspective about why Israelis feel the way they do about their land today. And second, pay attention to the whys of restoration. First, why the Lord is not doing a work of restoration, and then why he is. So first is the land. Listen, beginning in verse two. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Your enemies have taunted you saying, aha, now the ancient heights belong to us. Your enemies have attacked you from all directions, making you the property of many nations and the object of much mocking and slander. My jealous anger burns against these nations, especially Edom, because they have shown utter contempt for me by gleefully taking my land for themselves as plunder. I have taken a solemn oath that those nations will soon have their own shame to endure. And then the restoration beginning in verse eight. But the mountains of Israel will produce heavy crops of fruit for my people, for they will be coming home again soon. See, I care about you and I will pay attention to you. Your ground will be plowed and your crops planted. I will greatly increase the population of Israel and the ruined cities will be rebuilt and filled with people. Now the reason for the restoration. First, what is not the reason in verse 32? But remember, says the sovereign Lord, I am not doing this because you deserve it. O oh, my people Israel, you should utterly be ashamed of all that you have done. And now the reason God will restore Israel in verse 35. And when I bring you back, people will say, this former wasteland is now like the Garden of Eden. The abandoned and ruined cities now have strong walls and they're filled with people. Then the surrounding nations that survive will know that I, the Lord, have rebuilt the ruins and replanted the wasteland. For I, the Lord, have spoken and will do what I say. The message of chapter 36 certainly applies to the nation of Israel, but it also applies to all the followers of Jesus Christ as well. And here it is. The Lord through all generations will show great patience and mercy to restore his people for his namesake.